bounty falls on all who hunger and thirst. We drink the fullness of Christ the Lord, so we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Good morning. How are you today? And how is the school today? They look very sleepy. We are outside. Are you okay? Show me your hands. We are okay. Yeah, wake up. I'm sleepy too, but I will try to be good for, because of you. I will have to wake up. For my students in, the, in our uh, school in San Francisco, and also for your parents, and also people who are coming today for the Mass. And all of us, we're praying for you because you are back to the school. Okay, let us offer the Mass today in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast. For an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? that when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my light in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. He is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. 
How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Just a little reminder, you cannot sing, okay? Don't sing, please. Just the person who's singing, because we need to respect the rules about the coronavirus. Thank you. The Lord be with you. A reading for the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples this parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? We not both fall into a pit. No disciple is superior to a teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive that wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> Today the gospel is good gospel because we are having the mass for the school, but also it's about the teacher and the master. And I want to tell you something to the students and also the parents and people from the community today. You have a teachers here in the school, but also you have a masters in your house. So the teacher in the school, they want to teach you whatever they can about the school, about math, science, to write, to read, right? They want to teach you because they want you to be a good student. Right? Yes or no? Yes. They will teach you also to respect each other, to be kind, to be nice, and also to have a great grades. The teachers, they, they, they work is not just to teach. It's also to teach about being nice and kind and good person because they want you to go from this school to the university you can, to college. Because they will say, where school you went when you were a kid? And you will say, where? St. Francis. And they had to be very proud. Your teacher had to say, yes, he was my student. Look at him. Now he's a doctor. Now he's a lawyer. Now. She's a nun or a nurse or, you know, or a priest, who knows? Yes. And also, those are your teachers. They want to teach you everything that you can grow in knowledge and to be a good student. And for us as a priest here in San Francis, of course, we will be very happy because they will say you are from San Francis, right? I always tell my other priest friends, oh, I am going to visit today my students, our kids from the school. I don't say your kids. 
they have kids in other churches. No, my kids, my students from St. Francis. Why? Because I am the priest here. And today I'm going to visit you, actually. I will go to bless your classrooms with holy water and maybe sanitizer. I don't know with something, but I will have to use something. So that's now the sanitizing, you know? The thing is now the sanitizer for everything. And also you have uh, um, the masters. I want to talk about the masters. Our grandparents, they're masters, really. You teach also your parents because they teach you how to eat, you have to grow well, uh, organize your room, right? Clean your room, go to the school, wake up in the morning. Those are your masters too. You teach, your parents are telling you all the time, hey, you have to go to the school. Come on, wake up, go to the shower, or eat your soup. They always teach you good things. Be careful when you do this. Don't listen to your teacher. Always your parents want to guide you because you, they don't want to be you to be in trouble. And also the masters are our grandparents because our grandparents always look at us. They love us. They always look at us to, to have a, a, a cookie, for example, right? If your mom tells you don't eat a cookie, who will give you the cookie? Your grandma. That's always happened. They are a good master? Well, yes. But they're supposed not to give you the cookie. But we take it because we are good no? listening. And also we are very kind. Oh yeah, grandmother, give me the cookie. Take, give me two, three, four, I don't care, you know? Yes, yeah, your mom told you, no, don't eat a cookie, it's not good for you, go to bed. And your grandmother will say, yeah, go to bed. And she will give you the cookie and the other, go to bed. And she give the cookie. It always happens. So we have a good teachers and masters, and that's, those people wanna really help us to grow. As I had my teachers before, and my grandparents to help me to grow. And our parents to always they wanna give us the best they can because they want you to be a good girls and boys and kids and grow very well. Our teacher and master also Jesus. That's why we are here celebrating the mass. Because he wants you to study your Friday, every Friday in the morning with him. The, he wanna you to know that he love you, that he will protect you, and also he wanna talk to you sometime when you pray. If you wanna have a, the best teacher and master in your life, Always talk to Jesus, and he will guide you. He will listen to you because he said, let us the little ones come to me. You have a very special place for Jesus in his heart because you are part of the little ones. Amen? Okay, let us uh, offer our intentions. Please stand. With confidence we pray for our needs and the needs of the world. For those who serve Christ, the Prince of Peace, as guardians and shepherds in our church, may they be open to the vision of the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For those who struggle against oppression and violence, may they know the justice and peace of the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For all firefighters, police, armed forces members, both active and retired, may they continue to be kept out of harm's way as they protect and defend us day after day. We pray to the Lord. Yeah, pray. For all those who harbor hatred and vengeance in their hearts, may they come to know the peace and forgiveness of the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Yeah, pray. And finally, for all those who have died, especially the 2,977 individuals in the attacks on September 11th. May they now live with Christ in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Okay, Let us unite with the families and people, heroes, who lost their life in September 11th attack. And let us take a little moment of silence. And let us pray for them and for their families. We pray to the Lord. And may Almighty God receive our intentions in the name of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated.
Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury or pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In giving of ourselves that we receive. And in dying that we're born to eternal life. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fighting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it at your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed and eat anew. And so it is right that all you create to serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all angels, in such joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth, the full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fun of holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which we give it up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim you dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread to other world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection. And all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your praise. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her espoused, with the blessed apostles and other saints, who have prayed you to the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep safe for eternal life. Because we need Mary in our lives, the mother of Jesus and our mother, and you as a students too, you need Mary, right, in your classrooms. Let us pray together, one Hail Mary, 
before the blessing. Okay? Together? Okay, one, two, three. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and a heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gift, that we may merit an eternal chair in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is sended. Have a beautiful Friday. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your house, O oh Lord, singing out a song of joy to the living God. Even sparrows find a home with you, and swallows lay their young to rest. Blessed are those who dwell in you, and sing your praise, O God. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your house, O Lord, singing out a song of joy to the living God. Blessed are those who find their strength in you, whose hearts are highways for your will, bringing joy to those around them. They go from strength to strength. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your house, O Lord, singing out a song of joy to the living God. 